Today is the battle of the budget Android tablets. It's the Xiaomi Pad 5 versus the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE. Who will come out ahead in today's Smackdown? Hello, my name is Brad. I review tech for creative professionals. Two of the most popular devices I've reviewed over the last few months have been the Xiaomi Pad 5 and the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE. Both are very good Android tablets in their own rights, and both are designed to be kind of budget friendly. One note for those of you who are here in the United States with me, it can be kind of hard to get your hands on the Xiaomi Pad 5. It's not officially released here, at least not yet, and I don't think it will be, but if you really want one, you can find it on resale places like eBay. The one catch here is that that also means that they're a little more expensive here than they are in other territories. So just keep that in mind. So here's how the SmackDown works. I make up a bunch of categories. I declare a winner for each category at the end. We tally up all the votes. We declare a winner. Also, there's a catch here. I'm not allowed to have a tie in any given category. I don't make up the rules, I just, wait, I do make up the rules. And with that said, let's go to category one, the hardware. On paper, the Xiaomi Pad 5 is way better in almost every way. It has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 compared to the Snapdragon 778G you'll find in the Wi-Fi version of the FE. It starts with 128 gigabytes of storage and six gigabytes of RAM compared to the 64 gigabytes of storage and four gigabytes of RAM in the FE. It has an IPS LCD display compared to the TFT display in the FE. And most importantly for illustration, this has 120 hertz refresh rate compared to the standard 60 hertz refresh rate in the FE. And you could go down the list and do this. For example, there's just better specs all around for things like the camera. But here is the big difference. It, it's literally the biggest difference because the screen is bigger. Samsung decided to make this a 12.4 inch tablet. This is more in line with the largest iPad Pro than it is with what you see in normal Android tablets. Now that screen real estate isn't 100% necessary for anything, but it is a really nice luxury when we're talking about art and illustration. Now Xiaomi is no slouch. This is an 11 inch tablet. That is a decent size plenty big enough for drawing, and they managed to fit the same amount of pixels in that smaller space. Both of these screens have a resolution of 1600 by 2560 pixels. And when you put these next to each other, you can start to see where the differences are. The builds feel very similar. They've got nice flat edges, some nice camera bumps. Visually, they feel good, they look good. And the Xiaomi screen, even though it's smaller, it does look better. The colors pop more, the viewing angles are better, the refresh rate is higher, which means in theory, you're gonna get better animations and should feel snappier, maybe even affect drawing. So for this category, I'm gonna give it to the Xiaomi Pad 5. Next up though, is the drawing category. But before we get to that, I wanna talk about the desk that you've seen in the background throughout this video. This is called the Who Standing Desk and they are the sponsor for today's video. I've been using it for a little over a week and I'm really in enjoying it. I like to move around while I work and I find that changing positions really helps me focus and concentrate. Now I am an amateur when it comes to standing desk, but so far I am loving it. And of course there are some health benefits to sitting less throughout the day as well. Studies show that the mix of sitting and standing throughout the day will increase your productivity and general well-being while at work. This desk looks really good and it's built really well. It is sturdy and it comes in multiple colors on their website. The height of this desk is controlled through one easy panel right here along on the side so it doesn't get in your way. Now apart from just going up and down, there are some other features here as well. There's some handy sit and stand reminders that tell you how long you've been sitting or standing and then reminds you to switch positions. Once you find that perfect position, you can create a preset for that position so that you can quickly toggle between your favorite sitting and standing spots. There's also a swivel tray hidden under the desk. It's a handy place to keep the smaller things you need throughout the day. It's easy to assemble. I mean, I figured it out. And the one I have here is black oak. I love how the color fits my room's decor perfectly. There are also some add-ons here, like some easy to snap on leg covers and a privacy screen along the back. Check out my link down below in the description and thanks to Who Standing Desk for sponsoring this video. Okay, so what is it like to draw on these two devices? Let's go over to the drawing board and do some comparisons. All right, so I'm booting up Clip Studio Paint here on the Xiaomi. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new dock, grab my pen. First thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure that my stabilization is turned off on this because that's gonna give me a better idea of how the pen works and pressure sensitivity of this pen 
is very good. The one thing about the pen that I don't care for, and I said in my review is right on the edge, is just the wobble to it and the lines. And you can see as I was just drawing that stroke, we get some mechanical wave just by drawing. And if you turn on lime stabilization here in Clip Studio, you can knock that out. But by default, it's it's pretty strong. So like I said in my review, it, it's right on the edge. A lot of people are gonna hate that. If you do a lot of line work, I wouldn't recommend this. I don't think it's uh, gonna perform as well as the Samsung. But it does a lot of the other things well. For example, that pressure sensitivity is really good. Fast lines actually look really good, like they taper well and don't do anything goofy. Um, if you draw circles, you can hold your width and your pressure around curves really well. Um, so overall, this pen does everything except for that wiggle to the line. All right, here we are in Clip Studio again. Let me grab that pen tool and let's go to the settings just to make sure, aha, we're gonna turn that stabilization down. And now when I draw here on the Galaxy Tab FE, really good pressure, really nice lines, pretty much what I expected. Now since I've drawn a curve on both of these, might as well do that slow down latency test so you can see it. I think the latency on both of these is fine. Obviously you can see a little bit of lag here, but when you're drawing in real time, it's not a big deal. Let's do our slow angled line test. And the thing you always have to pay attention to is is it your hand or is it the pen? And so you're looking for mechanical wave, not perfect lines. And overall, I feel like I'm getting exceptionally good lines out of this, which is which is pretty standard for a Wacom powered stylus like this. I've seen this on a lot of Samsung design devices. It always performs super well. So let's go ahead and do some fast hatch lines there. I'm gonna change the size of this actually. Let me change the size of this a little bit so those lines don't look quite as blobby. Let's go ahead, fast hatch lines. Again, look absolutely flawless. This is this is beautiful. This is how I love my line work to look. And then of course, doing things like holding your lightest pressure is extremely good. Does that even show up on the camera? Just barely, you know, medium pressure around curves works really well. Heavy pressure around curves, heavier pressure, right? Those are the things I look for. And that's something that this particular pen and the Galaxy Tab FE does exceptionally well. The winner of this category is the Galaxy Tab S7 FE. The pen is just so much better. And if your primary purpose is drawing on the device, if that's the reason you're getting it, the FE just wins hands down. The last category we're gonna talk about here is value because spec for spec, just looking at this, going down the list and seeing all of the features you're getting and the price that you're paying for those features, Xiaomi, just kind of blows Samsung out of the water. There's only two categories where it doesn't, the pen and the actual screen size. But the screen looks better, there's a better processor, there's more storage, and in most territories, it's significantly cheaper than the Samsung. Price is really weird and it's hard for me to judge because I'm here in the US and they're not actually selling it here. I pegged it around $300 because that's probably around what it's selling for in Europe. The FE on the other hand is for sale here, it's $500, That that's a, pretty significant price difference if the only difference we're talking about is the size of the screen and you're losing a lot of other specs in the process. And not just that, but I got some comments, especially from people who are in like Asian countries who said the Pad 5 for them was significantly lower than $300. One person said they even found it in their country for $200, which is a crazy value. Now, one thing to note, since I am talking about art and illustration primarily on this channel, the pen is packed in with the Galaxy Tab FE, and it's not packed in on the Xiaomi Pad 5. And at least here in the States, when I tried to add that on, that's an $80 to $100 addition to the price. So that's pretty significant. But again, I think this is one of those things where it's probably significantly cheaper in other countries. So it's pretty clear I should give this category to the Xiaomi Pad 5, right? But that pen and that drawing experience, but rules are rules. This is the category that I've been using lately for these videos. So that's what I'm going for. This category is won by the Xiaomi Pad 5. It's just more bang for your buck. So the overall winner here is the Pad 5. But if you're buying this just for drawing, I don't think the Pad 5 holds up. I'm not sure it's a good value there. It's kind of like buying a car and you're looking at two cars and one car just gives you better value. It gets better gas mileage. It goes faster. It's got a 
bigger engine and a bigger steering wheel. I know nothing about cars. But you live on a bumpy road and the thing you really need in your car is great suspension. And so you buy a car that's more expensive because it has great suspension, then you've gotten the car you need. That's how all of this breaks down to me. If you want a great tablet that you could do a million things on and one of those things is drawing, the Xiaomi Pad 5 is really good for that. If the only thing you care about is drawing and you might do some other things on the tablet as well, that's where I think the Samsung is really good. So that's how I feel about this. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you in a couple of days.